Welcome. This slideshow demonstrates different ways to organize a work breakdown structure. There are two basic strategies for identifying project tasks and three basic taxonomic structures in which to place those tasks. The tasks required to complete the project can be identified using either top-down or bottom-up approaches. The highest level of the work breakdown structure is made of nouns, verbs, or a mix of nouns and verbs. Top-down methods start with the finished project goal. The example we will work with is a work breakdown structure of a play, a live theater performance of a script. Ask, what are all the major parts, deliverables, of a play? The first list might include venue, script, actors, director, and performances. Consider the list. Ask, are there any other major parts? Make certain that any newly identified parts aren't subparts of something that has already been a component of the play. Perhaps you will identify rehearsals and a budget. Work breakdown structure can also begin with phrases or processes. After the top group of deliverables or phrases is complete, identify sub-deliverables or sub-phases. Continue decomposing the project until you can easily identify all the tasks required to complete a project sub-deliverable or deliverable. The work is complete when all of the deliverables listed equals the complete project and when all the tasks required to build the deliverables have also been identified. If a task or deliverable isn't necessary to complete the project, remove it from the work breakdown structure. In this example, the venue sub-deliverables including the stage, set, seating, foyer, and dressing rooms. The script doesn't need to be decomposed and tasks are assigned to it. They include select script, purchase script, pay royalties, and copy script. Notice that, unlike a biological taxonomy, some deliverables could be placed in more than one part of the hierarchy. For example, the set could belong to either venue or performances. It could even be placed at the first level of the hierarchy. However, like a biological taxonomies, deliverables and tasks may only be placed in one part of the hierarchy. Animation will X out set in two to three of the locations. You have to choose. Regardless of what WBS structure is chosen, the tasks themselves should be the same. The work required to complete the project doesn't depend on the WBS structure. Bottom-up task identification also begins with the project. However, in the bottom-up approach, you ask, what are all the things that need to be done? In the bottom-up approach, you start by creating a very long list of tasks. In the example, your list might start like this. Choose a play. Choose actors. Give actors parts. Design costumes. Sew costumes. Fit costumes. Build props. Build sets. Create prompt book. Rehearse. Have a technical rehearsal, etc. When you are finished with all the tasks you can think of, group like tasks together. Four animations will have brackets, enter, and create groups of tasks. Continue grouping tasks until you identify the common deliverables for the task. For example, costumes. The taxonomic structure of the work breakdown structure will be deliverable based, process, or phase based, or a mix of the two. This taxonomic structure is the deliverable based work breakdown structure of the play project. It begins with nouns. Follow the taxonomic structure of the two tasks, design costumes and sew costumes. It begins with the play. The first level of decomposition of the play includes a deliverable called performances. The performance's deliverables include the costume sub-deliverable. Costumes isn't decomposed into smaller units. Instead, the tasks required to produce costumes are listed. The taxonomic structure seen in this slide is a phase or process-based structure. The structure begins with verbs. Notice that design costumes is no longer under the costumes deliverable. It is under the design sub-process. This slide shows a mixed work breakdown structure. Three phases, preparing, planning, and constructing, and three deliverables, actors, rehearsals, and performances, define the hierarchical structure. Each of these methods of defining the work breakdown structure is acceptable. Most experts recommend that you use a method that makes sense to you and fits the project. Remember that creation of the work breakdown structure is first and foremost a thought process tool. Building it should help you understand the project as well as plan the project. 
Thank you once again for your time and attention, and this is BusinessTraining.com, where you can earn master's level qualifications to make more money.